Callaway County High School started its own fishing team just this past year. Jim visited Callaway High to find out more. Tell us a little bit about the brand new Laker fishing team. This is our first full year. We're a club this year. Uh, starting in the fall 2012, of course, the Athletic Association has made us officially a team. So we'll be a team sport for Callaway County High School starting in the fall. You've uh, already got going and already participated in one tournament this fall, yes. right? Uh, our boys fished in a tournament back in the fall and actually placed first place in the in the first tournament. Some of our boys fished in Arkansas at the international tournament last summer, but our first tournament to compete in here locally was Marshall County in the fall. Well, I'd say, uh, I don't know that you're the only woman that's a sponsor across the state, but you, you may be one of the few. Yes. You think that'll help in uh, recruiting uh, girls to be a part of the fishing Well, team? I really hope it does because fishing is actually an equal opportunity sport. Uh, there's not that many athletic requirements and we would like to have some young ladies. We'd like to recruit some young ladies for our team. Do you see uh, in, in the academic year 12-13, as it, you mentioned, it becomes an official sanctioned sport. Mm -hmm. I would, would think that really would help it grow just not at Callaway but across the state. I think it will too. Um, our first tournament will be in May and we're actually sending out invitations to every public high school in the state of Kentucky. So uh, we're hoping that we'll also promote the sport not only with the young men but young women as well across our state. Yes. I think something that's unique about how you're approaching uh, the club is that you're doing other things other than just fishing. Yes, we. Uh, uh, that was part of the requirement. I said when I became the advisor, I'd like for the team to participate in community activities at least once a month. Our boys uh, worked with a community project of packing food at Christmas. They also worked at a professional fisherman's home back in the fall and collected uh, canned goods for an event he had at his home. And then they've also worked with Kentucky Fish and Wildlife just this last Saturday. Yes. You mentioned that uh, also you have a local community partner in the Murray Bass Club that's been a big help. Yes, the, the guys at the Murray Bass Club have been very helpful uh, in kind with helping us out financially. Uh, they've offered uh, support. Uh, some of the men have offered to use their boats and captain for upcoming tournaments for us. This is uh, a sport that everybody can participate in, yes. but it does present some challenges because there are things you have to have to compete, boats, equipment and all. Right. It can be an expensive sport. Uh, you know, bass boats and, and the fuel that it takes to get the guys out on the water. The equipment, we have had some equipment donated, but here again, and most guys have their own equipment. They're partial to a certain brand of equipment, and, and that's part of it is, is getting that out there so that some other kids will participate and, and bring some of that in with them too as well. 